Hello band. I wanted to take a minute to show you how to complete um, your Breeze In Through Theory assignments. First, I am on our class Canvas homepage. You can see down at the bottom the username and password that you'll need to log into that system. Then um, I'm going to look at the student view so you can see exactly what it looks like from your side. On the left-hand side of the page in these navigation buttons, you'll see one that says Breeze In Through Theory. So you'll click on that. It will ask you to open um, into a new tab. You just keep clicking, answering the questions. Then you're gonna get to a page that looks like this and you'll need to log in. So you click log in in the top right. That's where you'll need the username and password. Remember the username was Hudson MS. The password is band414 for everybody. Then once you click log in, it's gonna ask you for your first and last name. And it's gonna ask you for what class you're in. If you're a sixth grader, you're in beginner band. Um, seventh and eighth graders are in either wind symphony, honors band, or symphonic band. On your schedule, wind symphony says varsity. Um, honors band says non-varsity. And symphonic band says sub-non-varsity. So you choose the correct class and then you log in. If at any time um, something weird happens, you might just have to log out and log back in. That button's in the top right-hand corner. You can always click the subscriber area to, to go back to where you need to be if you get lost in the system. Um, every time we're gonna do assignments, it's gonna be down here in this Breeze In Through Theory Next Gen Edition. You always look for Next Gen Edition. You'll click the play button and then it opens another new window. If it's the first time you've logged in, you'll just have one button that looks like the play button. Um, mine says resume because I've been in before and so I can go back to where I was or I can click on the book and find all of the different content. You can take a tour if you want to see what all is offered in this system. You can also check out the stuff on the right hand side over here, your dashboard, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, how to master the activities and the musical path. Uh, but you're going to want to see all of the different chapters. You have different chapters, which is basically just um, different content, different um, different things that we're working on. Um, and so you can see what all the different chapters are about. And say your first assignment says to complete Mad Dash Drill 1A in Chapter 1, the staff. So I'd click on the staff. It's gonna ask me to kind of go through the, um, the drill or and the information. I can click on the contents of the chapter at the bottom. You wanna make sure that you're in the correct clef. If I play a treble clef instrument, I read music in treble clef, I wanna make sure that I'm on that one. If I play a bass clef instrument like trombone, euphonium, tuba, or bassoon, I'd wanna make sure I clicked on bass clef. If you're on the wrong one, it's gonna give you um, the wrong note names and your answers will be wrong. You can go through all the lessons where you learn all the information or review the information. So I can click on that and show you. You can click the volume button and it'll read to you. It is placed on us. If you don't want to read to read to you, you can read it yourself. You can also click these down arrows and up arrows to go through the information in little bite-sized chunks. Or if you want to see all the information at one time, you can click that in the top right corner right hand corner and see everything at the right at the same time. You can look at lesson two. Again, this is all review information. Most of the time, by the time we've gotten here, we're, we're reviewing stuff. Okay, I'm just going through the information to show you really quickly. Then you're going to need to do your actual assignment. So Canvas will tell you what your assignment is. So let's just pretend my assignment, you can see them right here, Mad Dash Drills. I've completed a bunch of them already. You can see that um, the check mark turns white and you get little hearts when you've completed your um, assignment. So I'm going to do a new one. Let's pretend my assignment says complete Mad Dash Drill 1. A, for, for our purposes, let's pretend it says 2D, entering notes um, for chapter one of Breeze In Through Theory. So I'm gonna find Mad Dash Drill 2D and I'm gonna click on it and then I'm going to start my drill. It tells me the, inf or the directions, enter notes above or below the staff as indicated. So I'm gonna have to click on the staff where the note is indicated. These say enter notes above the staff and you have to be accurate. Uh, otherwise, 
it'll get your answers wrong. Let's say I did get one wrong. Oops, that's wrong. C is two ledger lines above the staff. I can just click on it again. Uh, some of the, the drills will automatically load the next line. Some of them don't. You just have to click the down arrow to go to the next line. I'm still entering notes above the staff. Again, I read the directions really carefully. Make sure you do that too. Oops, that one's wrong. Um, some of these activities will have you drag and drop things. These are internotes below the staff. Some of them have you just click on the correct answer. Some of them, like this one, has you uh, dragging and dropping notes. They all just kind of have you do different things. I'm still entering notes below the staff. I've read the directions now a bunch of times to make sure I get the answer is correct. When you get 100, it's going to play a cute little song for you. If you get less than 100, it'll play a shortened version of the song. And if you get less than an 80, um, it says, oh, and it's kind of sad. So when I finish, I can click done. If I wanted to go back and check my answers, I can always use those up and down arrows to make sure that everything was correct. Um, I took off the time limit for these drills for now. So there is no time limit. You can take your time and be really accurate. I click done and I'm gonna get a cute little song because I got 100. Yay, super fun. You can see your score. My score was 100%. I got 32 answers correct out of 32 questions um, in, not, in one minute and 34 seconds. Um, if I didn't get a grade that I really liked. I could redo the drill. You can redo them as many times as you want to get the grade that you are comfortable submitting. If you get a lot wrong and you want to go back and review your answers, you can click on the little eyeball and review your answers. Or if you get everything right, you want, you're comfortable with your grade, that was that's an acceptable grade for you, um, which hopefully it's 100 every time, you click Submit Drill. And once you click Submit Drill, I get a notification that you've completed your assignment. It does not go directly into Canvas. I have to go in, uh, or Mr. Urban or Mr. Miss Manalis, and we have to enter your grade into Canvas. So it's not an automatic thing. Okay, so I can see again um, my chapter one contents. And now you'll see that I've now co um, completed another drill. And so that one that I just did, um, the check mark turned white, and I got all the hearts. If you want to play some games, you can scroll down to the bottom and play games. You can do some sight reading practice with the play that tune. So it's all kind of fun. I can go back and I can see my dashboard, which will show me how I stack up to other students in my class. You can see, uh, look at all the egg is going to bounce around for every drill that I've completed. Um, you can see the circle over here, I've completed eight drills and all of them I've gotten 100%. So you can see that my whole circle is blue. If I didn't get them all at 100%, different parts of my circle would turn a different color. Oh, you could see at the top, I am the student of the month, way to go me. But you can also see if you are not the student of the month, you can see how you um, relate and how you compare to the student that is the student of the month. You can see where you are in the whole program. I'm on chapter one. My average score is three hearts, which is 100, and I've done eight out of 18 drills. You can see a little collection of, of cute things. I have a little egg right now. Apparently, you get golden eggs if you do a bunch of stuff really great. I can exit my dashboard. I can log out if I'm totally finished. Um, again, the whole thing takes place in this next gen edition of Breezing Through Theory. So it'll be a fun way for us to learn more music theory and just make sure that um, when we do assessments, it's, it's more fun than uh, worksheets and note name quizzes. So I hope you guys will like it and that you'll fly through it or breeze through it, I should say. Bye.